paced myself, you know. I knew I could do only so much every day and I did that. Get nearer the deadline, I worked a bit longer, but most of the time it was just a process, you know, and uh, it was, what's in the book, it's been there, it's my life. So, you know, I was telling the story rather than writing the story. A lot of people have said that to me since after reading that they've said, they felt as if I was talking to them you know, when I was, when they were reading the book. And of course, when the people listen to the audible version that I am in fact talking to them, because I did the audible version myself too, which was a wonderful experience. I felt like Judy Dench, you know, given all my acting uh, expertise into it. So I loved that, just big show off, you know. Some of the book is about my husband um, and his mental sickness and he took his own life when he was 41. And recalling all those things and putting them down on paper, that, that was a challenge, you know. Um, it's not easy, but it was very worthwhile because it's a tribute to him and his life that he, he led and, um, and to all that he suffered. So it was worthwhile, but it was a challenge doing that, you know. Saying that all out loud uh, was hard, but I'm very proud and very pleased that I did that for him. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I try my best to uh, always read Irish writers and also, I'm afraid I have to say mostly women writers too, but I just happen to like women writers. But uh, I think Irish, it's very important that we all look after one another. It's great to be here today to see so many talented young people, um, you know, getting on. I mean, I left it till I was 82 to do this, but that doesn't matter. It's never too late, as they say, isn't that what they say? Yeah.